Hey all my uh, Shano area friends, if uh, you're interested in checking out bodybuilding yoga, this is the preview for you recorded on my Peaceful Warrior Yoga channel. If uh, you're nowhere in the area but you like what you see, I will be putting more of these videos out there over time. Um, started a full-time job and haven't gotten to uh, build my yoga channel the way I would like. Um, but that will come with time for everything there is a season right now my season is helping my school district during the pandemic and uh, being here for my family so I will do what I can when I can and with that enjoy the uh, flow hey it's Chris I am here for uh, an intro to uh, bodybuilding yoga so combining uh, lifting with yoga and uh, having some fun on the mat in the meantime so here we go. We're going to start with a warm up and then we'll get into a heat building sequence. This will be about a 45 minute class ish. We'll see where it actually times out and have some fun. Here we go. Start my little clock so I can keep an eye on that. So first off, we're going to come into child's pose. So bring your knees out to the edge of your mat, connect your big toes behind, sink your hips on down, forehead to the earth or to your mat. And big deep breath, so slowing it out. It helps if maybe you go for a little walk, get the blood flowing a little bit before class. I'm gonna do a little, a little quicker warm up here, get the blood moving, but a little bit beforehand wouldn't be the worst idea. We're gonna go ahead and thread the needle here, activate the arm a little bit, inhale, lift the right arm up, exhale, bring it on through. Big deep breaths here. One more breath. And replace your right arm out front. Let's do that on the other side. Inhale, left arm lifts up. Exhale, reach on through. to tabletop. A couple rounds of cow. Inhale, belly button drops. Maybe curl your toes under behind. Exhale into your cat. Arch your back. Belly button up. So a few rounds. Feel that belly really stretch out as you uh, inhale into your cow. And then finding a neutral stance. I've got all sorts of dust on me from cleaning my basement. Neutral stance, either toes curled under or tops of feet down. I'm going to curl my toes under. Let's do a little bit of a table hover. It's a hovering table. So arms should be right stacked under your shoulders, hands under shoulders, nice neutral neck. I'm going to start to feel your belly warm up just a little bit. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Legs are starting to warm up. here. Inhale, let's come into a hurdler's lunge. You can drop your left knee, bring your right leg on out. Lift up your heart, hinge forward, and then fold. So just a few breaths here. One more. Oh, this feels good. Let's come into bird dog from here. So bring that right leg down out behind you. Left arm comes out in front of you. Nice straight line from, kind of drop my uh, heel a little bit. Straight line from the uh, tip of your fingers down to your heel. You can flex that lifted foot. Keep your hips level with each other. Tendency is to kind of want to open up sometimes. Don't want to do that. Let's do a couple crunches while we're here. Inhale, reach a little further. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach, exhale, connect. Inhale, reach, exhale, connect. Inhale, go ahead and come back down. Let's come back into a hover for just a moment. 
we're going to sit on up for doing what we just did on the left side now. So next big breath, we're going to bring your left leg forward, sink on back, hurdler's lunge on this side. So I didn't mention it before, but I'm sitting on my foot with my toes curled under. You can flatten your foot, come this way, you can just be on up on your knee. So whatever feels good for the hurdler's lunge for you. So you want to feel that nice activation. Don't go too hard into it. We're still warming up, just encouraging blood to flow throughout the body. One more breath here. All right, let's come into bird dog on this side. So left leg comes out behind you, right arm goes out in front of you. So locking it in. You can feel you got to have a little bit of a body awareness here, which is a big part of what Yoga is about, especially when you add weights, you've got to have extra awareness, be extra safe when weights are involved. So feeling how that hip feels. Inhale, reach a little further. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, connect. Inhale, reach. Exhale, connect. Go ahead and release down to your mat. We're going to come into down dog from here. So curl your toes under, lift your hips on up. Feet should be about hip distance apart, hands about shoulder width apart, heels may or may not connect. Walk your dog here a moment. We're going to do a little bit of a warm up dynamic stretch flow. So pulling your chest towards your thighs as you really push into the earth there, sparking your fingertips, maybe waving your crown a little bit back and forth. <sighs> All right, inhale, you're gonna lift your right leg up. Exhale, you're gonna bring your right foot to your right pinky. We're gonna set on up for a low lunge. So I'm gonna push that back foot back because you want your knee over your ankle. If you're way extended like that, you're not gonna get what you need out of it and it's not gonna be very safe. So you can stay up on forearms, you can come down lower if you want. We're gonna stay here a little longer first time and we're gonna build it into a flow. So one more breath here. <sighs> Inhale, lift your right arm up, get a little bit of a twist. You feel that left hip abductor start to open up a little bit more. You can bring your arm around your back if you want. Look over that right shoulder. <sighs> one more breath here. Next breath, go ahead and ground your right hand. We're going to come into a side lunge. So bring your feet out so you're now facing the long ways and sink over to the side to get a nice inner thigh stretch. If you want to add to this, you can wrap around, add a little bit of a twist if you want, opening up. So one more breath here. Next breath, we're going to do that on the other side. So you're going to walk your hands now towards your left foot, set up for lizard on the left. Drop that back knee. Maybe find your way down to forearms. It's a little longer here, like I said, the first time around. And then we're going to flow between these poses. We're already flowing. We'll just flow a little faster, I should say. Coming on up. To tall arms, for me at least, open up with the fallen crescent type move, the left arm comes up, maybe around your back, I always like to do that, that gives me a little leverage to open up the chest a little bit more on that side. So big breaths here. One more. Might hear my kids coming down soon, we'll see if that happens. Go ahead and walk your hands to the center. We're gonna come into that side lunge now, stretching out the left side. So maybe opening up. Feel that nice inner thigh stretch. One more breath here. Oh, it feels so good. I'm running around doing all sorts of stuff this morning. I needed this. So back to the front, lizard lunge. So one breath here. Inhale, fall and press and open up, right arm goes up. Next.
next breath, walk your hands off towards your left leg, side lunge for one full breath. Next breath, walk your hands towards your left, get into your lizard lunge for one breath. Inhale, left hand up. Next breath, walk your hands off to the right side. Side lunge on the left for one breath. Awesome, we're gonna do that one more time. So off to the right, lizard lunge, one big breath. Inhale, right arm up. Next breath, walk your hands to the left, side lunge. Next breath, set up for lizard on the left. Inhale, left arm up. Next breath, walk your hands off to the right, side lunge here on the left. Got a little spider friend. There he goes. Gotta love having a little pseudo studio in the basement. All right, let's go ahead and do one full sun A, bringing your right leg on back, setting up for a nice tall plank, nice foundation. So hands on your shoulders. So locking your belly button in, you can come into your knees if you must. Coming forward on your tippy toes, lock your elbows so they're pointing towards the rear. Lower down to low plank or belly. Inhale, pushing chest through arms to an up dog, pulling up on those kneecaps. Exhale to down dog. All right, we're gonna go into the warrior flow segment. All right, from down dog. Inhale, your right leg's gonna lift, push back. Exhale, you're gonna bring your foot to the top. Grab your weights, we're setting up for warrior one, so back foot is sealed, 45 degree angle. So wait, so I'm gonna grab some fives. I've got some eights and threes by me. Threes and fives typically is gonna be enough, but um, you decide what's good for you. You can always up the weight. So make sure you got that front knee stacked over your ankle. So we're gonna start with tricep presses. So I've got two flat sides I'm gonna bring together. I'm bringing arms overhead. So elbows stay close. We're gonna press up for 15. So there's 15, 14, making sure hips are shining forward, 11, not always the best at counting, but I'm gonna do my best when I talk, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come into warrior two, so opening up sideways. So setting up the pose, so hips are shining open, make sure that front knee is stacked. We're gonna do lateral raises here. So bringing them in front, stopping when your shoulder height for 15. So look into the front or off to the side, 14, 13, squeezing those shoulder blades, thinking about everything that's going on as you're doing these movements. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one. We're gonna come into chair pose. I'm gonna, you can bring your left foot up to join your right. I'm gonna pivot so we're gonna face the camera right here. So chair pose, sending the foundations, big toes together, a little distance between your heels, A-OK. -okay. So sink on back, weights in your, he your uh, heels right now. So we're gonna do a butterfly press. So arms coming up to a 90 for 15, 14. If you got a little bit of low back pain, little space between your legs is okay. Block between your knees is okay too. Let's see here. We'll say 10, nine, eight, seven, how low can you go? Six, five, four, three, two, start to feel those pecs working, one, chair twist. 
So, right twist. So I'm going to face this way for this. So inhale here. On your exhale, you're going to reach back for 15, 14, 13. And feel that in your right scapula especially. 11. Try to keep hips on down, belly button on down really. Basically shining forward. 8, 7, 6, exhaling on your twist, 5, 4, 3, slow and control, 2, last one. Go ahead and set those weights down, come on up to a halfway lift, find a nice back stretch, set your hands on down, step on back, high plank. Forward on your tippy toes, low plank or belly. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. So catch your breath here, just a moment. All right, let's do that on the left side. So inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, you're gonna bring your left foot to the top, set it up for warrior one on the left. So sealing that back foot to the mat. So same thing going on here. Get that nice bend. Tricep pushes or presses. So make sure you got your arms straight on up. Here we go. For 15, 14, 13, 12. I'm going to face this way. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Opening up to warrior two. So warrior two on the left, some lat raises. Here we go. I'm gonna face this way for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Alright, coming to the top of your mat, coming into your chair pose, reposition. We'll start off sideways, so those butterfly presses. So arms on out to the side. Bring them together, keeping your triceps, shoulder, or excuse me, yeah, shoulder height parallel to the ground. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. Feel them dripping. One. Woo. Let them on down. So, chair twist to the left. Here we go. So, on your exhale, you're going to open up to the left. So, as you exhale, right arm goes forward, left arm goes back. For 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, I'm feeling it, that's for sure, 10, 9, a real trick is uh, keeping your hips forward through this, you might just want to go like that, not so much, not good, we'll say 6-ish, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, go ahead and lower those weights. Go through your flow, step back into your high plank, low plank, up dog, back to down dog. All right. <sighs> do the next segment. So a couple ways to mix this up is to uh, do that one segment two times in a row. You can also do the segment with less reps the second time, do it two times in a row, or if you want, 
to just go through this next segment we're about to do and then do everything twice. That's one other option. So you can add more weight, take away weight, do whatever you want, make this as long or as short of a workout as you'd like. So segment two. So back into your down dog. Where I left ya. Inhale, your right leg's gonna lift. Exhale, bring your right foot to the top. All toes are shining forward. We're coming into crescent lunge now. So I'm gonna grab my slightly heavier weights because we're gonna start with some bicep curls. We're gonna go into rows, both of which I prefer to use slightly heavier weights for this. So dropping that back knee can come all the way to your mat. A little lift, most challenging, bigger lift, a little less challenging, watch that front knee. So bicep curls, so pulling shoulder blades down and back. So weights are um, parallel to the earth. So perpendicular, this would be hammer. We're gonna do uh, traditional curls. So keeping those elbows locked in for 15, 14, 13, 12, nice proud heart, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and one, we're gonna come into humble crescent. So you're gonna lower down, your right shoulder is going to be right over your right knee. And we're gonna do rows here. So rows, you're gonna bring back, squeezing your, squeezing your shoulder blades together. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, squeezing at the top, five, four, three, two, and one. So coming in, I'm gonna grab my fives for this next one. We're gonna come into warrior three. So you're gonna press in off that rear foot, straighten your right leg, drop that left hip so your hips are parallel, flex that lifted foot. So we're gonna do front raises. So parallel to the earth as best as you can, bringing the arms on up in front of you. I'm gonna go perpendicular, so instead of weights going off to the side, I'm gonna go this way, and you're gonna raise them up, front raises. 14, 13, 12, it's gonna be a challenging one, I can tell. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, wow, I can feel my right glute really activated, <laughs> four, whoo, oh, you know it's challenging when the instructor is dropping a lot, right, <laughs> three, two, and one, <sighs> so I'm going to come down to a forward fold for a second, and we're going to stand all the way up, we're going to come into a tree pose. So come on up nice and slow. So I'll face the camera for this. So tree pose, keeping that right leg grounded. I'm going to use my hand to assist, putting my other leg into my thigh. You can bring your leg really any height towards the ground if balance is a challenge on the calf. Avoiding the knee. All the way up. All right, shoulder presses. So get some nice 90 degrees, pressing it up for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, try to keep yourself in one nice little plane, 7, 6, 5, I could use the 8s for this, 4, 3, 2, and one. All right, go ahead and set it on down. And go through your flow, your little reset between side A and side B. So step on back. I'm gonna use my uh, threes next time around for the warrior three. Oh, what a coincidence. I'll use my threes on warrior three. Those are the front races. All right, here we go. Sitting up, left side crescent. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring your left foot to the front. Set it up for your crescent legs, dropping that back leg. 
I'm gonna go ahead and face the camera for this one. So I'm dropping that back knee. Here we go. So bicep curls, keeping shoulders rolled down and back, elbows locked in for 15, 14, really squeeze at the top, 12, 11, 10, nine, smile, you love this, you know you do, eight, that's why you're still doing this, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, now we're gonna go into a look at that cheat sheet, humble crescent, so dropping down, coming into those rows for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Coming into Warrior 3. So you're going to lift your left leg up. Like I said, I want to grab my threes this time or excuse me, right leg lifts this time, left foot stays grounded, and drop that right hip. So come on up parallel to the earth. We're gonna do some raises to the front. Here's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, whew, I lift my legs, I lose my balance. 10, nine, Eight, seven, think about all those muscles you're toning and refining Ooh, as you steady yourself. Six, I think I can't skip seven a while. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, move forward, fold. Slowly rise on up for that. We're gonna come into our tree pose. On the left, going to rounding back. What was I doing on tree? <sighs> Shoulder press, grabbing my eights for these. So left leg stays grounded. <sighs> right foot comes on up. You can do a stork, which would just be bringing the knee out to the front. Do one other option. <sighs> Here we go, shoulder presses for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! All right, set that weight down. Go with your flow. That's the end of segment two. So feel free to repeat anything we did, same amount of weight or whatnot, and then we'll meet back up for the last little part. All right, last segment is going to be a little bit more lower body, including a little bit more core focus. Hopefully you've been engaging your core despite my lack of reminders throughout this workout because it's really important to keep your abdominal brace activated throughout all these different exercises or else you're not nearly going to be as safe as if you uh, were to. So we're going to find our way into garland pose next. So garland pose, also known as Hindu squat, bring your feet out slightly wider than hip distance apart, a little active rest, hands are going to come into prayer position, elbows push into the knees. Your feet may or may not come flat to your mat. That's okay. Lift your heart, tuck your tailbone. Should be a fairly active pose. You wanna come on up on your tippy toes, make it even more active. Feel a little bit of a calf strengthener going on here. We'll just take a couple more breaths here. to work on those legs so Alicia you're not gonna like me so much with this but here we go all right we're gonna come into standing half split so pivot to the right weight shifts on the right foot so dropping that left leg 
It's also known as standing splits, but I heard somebody once call it standing half splits, which is much more practical and realistic for most of us. So it's a one-legged forward fold. So dropping that left hip, and what we're gonna do, you're gonna feel your right glute really and hamstring really start to engage as we uh, need to work through, or we work through these two poses. We're gonna rise on up, slow and steady to stork. Bringing me up to hip height. One breath here. Next breath, go ahead and come into your standing half splits. So that right leg, slow and steady, is doing all the work. Drop that left hip. There's 10. Coming on up. Nice and tall, stork. Pause for a moment. Come back down. There's nine. If you can, goal is not to set that left foot down. There's eight. Feels so good. It's not just standing in the pose. There's seven, but the movement between them that I find really does a lot for me. Off, you got it. Six. Oh, you're gonna feel your right calf really start to warm up too. A lot of those muscles engaging for balance. We're in there. Okay, four more. Here we go. Nice and tall. Whoa. Ah, two more. And two more. Like I said, I'm not the best counter. I should call this bad counting yoga. <sighs> Last one. Here we go. The right leg really needs a little break, I know. All the way back down to the forward fold. Release. Oh, shake it out. Oh, that feels good. <sighs> Let's go ahead and do a little triangle pose here. Get a nice stretch. So bring your right leg out forward, right hand can stay down, you want to use a weight, give yourself a little bit more height, go for it, it feels good, come all the way down, oh this feels good, legs super warm, you're getting the extra benefit of super uh, supple fascia releasing right now, the warmer you are, the safer you are, and the more flexible you become. Go ahead and rotate, bring the left hand down, right hand goes up. Oh, yeah, feel that. Feel that, it feels so good. So we're gonna do that on the other side. So, I will face the camera for this one this time. So, left leg. Whoa, that was way too close. <laughs> left leg is gonna come on up, drop that left hip. Go all the way down, standing half splits. We're gonna rise on up. Here we go. For 10. Feels weird not being on my mat sometimes, especially for balance poses. Nine. That's okay. I like to change the perspective a little bit. Eight. They might have dribbled some water. Seven. Maybe that was just a shadow. So I was looking at the camera. Six. That's about where I started to really feel it on the right side. Five. Four. Three. So it doesn't feel as bad. Everybody's different. We might have been screaming after two of these. One, especially if you got something funny going on with your your foot, your leg. Nice little forward fold there. Alright, let's come into our triangle pose here. I'm gonna set up left leg, forward right.
right leg goes back. Left hand comes on the inside of left foot. Once again, using a weight if that feels good. Nice side body stretch here too. So a few big breaths here. Holding your breath is no good. Go ahead and rotate. Right hand down, left hand goes up. So a few breaths here. crunches. Bring the soles of feet together. Lay on back. Bring my notes on with me. So laying down. So legs come out nice and wide. If you want, you can take these weights too. Set them right on the inside of your thighs. So fingertips can go right behind the head or if you want to just kind of press between your legs or off to the side, your choice. So you should keep your neck nice and neutral, facing up, exhaling on the way up for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and windshield wiper a little bit back and forth. We're gonna come into waterfall pose, which is feet going straight on up. If you're brave, you want to stick a little weight between your feet, just be careful you're not you gotta make sure to squeeze it pretty good so you don't drop it on your face. Do not comment on that if that happens. I gave you a warning. So we're gonna lift the hips on up. So grounding through your arms for 15, exhaling on the way up, 14, 13, 12, 11. If you feel unsure, you should not have your weight in your feet. 12 or 10, nine, Eight, a block might be better. I think that one would bruise you as bad if you dropped it. Four, three, two, one. Once again, no weight if that felt rough. So coming in, half bow, raise lower. So last but not least before Cool down. Come on to your belly. So we're gonna do a half bow, raise and lower. So right arm's gonna come out. You can reach back and grab your uh, bend your left leg, your left knee. Grab your hand or your foot with your left hand, or you can do the crossover. I'm gonna do the same side for this. So inhale, lift on up. Everything but your pelvis stays on the ground. Exhale down for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, so left arm forward. Right knee bends, reach back, grab. So nice neutral neck. Inhale, reach up for 10. Exhale, lower down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Go ahead and sink on back, child's pose. <clears throat> Let's slow it down, cool it off. Mm. 
Find your way to an easy seated pose from here. So nice cool down, drop those shoulders. Go ahead and bring your right arm across your chest. Arms should be about shoulder height. Hooking it with your left arm, so get a little tricep stretch. So big breaths here. And the left arm comes across. Same thing, other side. Bring your legs on out nice and wide. Put the weights off to the side. Place your fingers behind your back. You can rotate your palms out, open up your heart a little bit more. Inhale here, exhale, fold. Arms can lift on up away from your tailbone a little bit. That feels good. Opening up the shoulders, getting a nice hamstring stretch. And one more breath. Rise back on up. Bring right leg in front, left leg crosses over. We're going to do a little twist. Right elbow comes on the outside of your right or left knee. As you exhale, twist to the left. Left hand walks behind you. One more breath. back to forward, left leg goes in front, right leg crosses over, twist to the left as you exhale, left elbow comes on the outside of your right knee. One more breath here. So I encourage you to take whatever other time you need to stretch things out, maybe do a little pigeon or but more butterfly if that sounds good. Feels amazing just laying there, not doing sit ups with weights, resting and opening up your hips a little bit more. Um, take Shavasana, take a nap, come back. You can watch the last couple seconds of this video, but I'm going to end on here. I thank you for watching. Alicia, I hope you enjoyed this. This is the uh, bodybuilding yoga preview. So if you like this, hopefully you can join me uh, either at Franklin Park um, or Cornerstone uh, Chiropractic and Wellness Center as we uh, continue to uh, build classes there. Two big breaths together, inhaling, reaching on up. Exhale down. Once more. Hands to prayer position, heart center. Have a wonderful rest of your day. As we bow together, we say,